Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, it's like Christmas all over again, ladies and gentlemen. Since I retired, I told myself that every single day I have to do something productive. So what I've been doing is I've been going through all of the totes that I've had in a corner here or a corner there. And this tote has been sitting in a corner for about the last three and a half, four years since we've been living here, untouched. And I'm glad that I found it because there are some things in here that I need to get using before they reach their best buy dates. But I thought it'd be some fun for me to go through this and show you guys what's in it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one item and show you what it is. And then I'm going to put it to the side. And uh, honestly, I don't remember everything that's in here, believe it or not. <laughs> not very hard to believe. I'm really glad that I found these because these are some Duracells and it says here Best Buy, Best Buy 2024. So I need to start using these instead of the ones that I already have. A good lesson to be learned here, ladies and gentlemen, you need to go over your preps. You know, I would say at least once a year. So I've got one of these and another full one. I have one that's partially used and another full one. Actually, I was going to start putting some uh, batteries, fresh batteries in my headlamps and flashlights for this winter. And I'm going to go ahead and use these and see how well they last. I got some D-size rechargeable batteries. I do have some things that take D-size batteries. Uh, one of the things that I have that takes D-size batteries is my Big Buddy propane heater. Takes two D-size batteries and it's what runs the fan. I also have an on-demand hot water heater that you use for like camping or outdoors and it also takes a couple of these size batteries as well. I've got one of these infomercial <laughs> flashlights that I bought on sale for like five bucks. These are the ones that if you shake them, uh, they'll work. I've never opened it, but I do know that I gave one of these to my mother-in-law and she really likes it because they work. <laughs> This is one of the things that I used to do when I was deployed. Whenever you got bored, you grab yourself some 550 cord and you make something. And this just happens to be what looks like and could be used as a sling. Another one. I just made a little snake out of this one. This I was pretty excited to see because these are still brand new. Now... My second prepper item that I ever purchased was in Washington State when I was stationed there. The first one was that hand crank generator that you've seen in previous videos. But the second one was at a Costco in Washington State where they were selling a Goal Zero 150 watt solar generator. I think it was like the first ones they ever made. It's really old school. And it came with... A couple of these lights and I have them both right here and although that goal zero solar generator broke I still have these lights and I did check to see if they would fit my goal zero Yeti 1000 and they fit the 12 volt ports so there you go I got a couple of lights that will fit my uh, Yeti 1000 and these are actually really nice lights they're 270 lumen I'm not sure if they sell these anymore, though. I think they sell smaller ones that are actually more efficient. I have an electric blood pressure monitor, which is nice to have. I also have one where you use the cuff and a stethoscope as well. Let's see here. Uh-huh. This is nice. I got a ratchet set or ratchet strap set. I got a couple of ratchet straps. This is always nice to have. I'll actually leave this in here. It's really nice to always have a couple of brand new ones of these. That way you'll always know that you can rely on something if you need one of these. That you can rely that they're still full strength and in good shape. And these are a couple of batteries. This one's got to be really old. I probably won't even use this one nowadays. Uh, but it does take D-size cell batteries. It only takes two. 
So that's not bad to have. This is a nice thing that you can barter with, especially if you, if you have the batteries for it. But these are not bad flashlights. And it is, um, uh, what does it say? Let's see. This, ladies and gentlemen, has a whopping 19 lumens. That should tell you how old this thing is. <laughs> and then these... I'm pretty sure that I got on sale at either Sam's Club or Costco. That's an LED light that you can hook up to the Goal Zero as well. Or anything that has a USB charging port. I'm not sure if many of you are familiar with the Coleman cam stove that uses either clean gas or that Coleman gas or gasoline to power it. It's the one that has the little red tank and you pump pressure into it. Now what this is, this is an element that you can replace the gas with propane. So if you take that little tank off and put this instead, you can use propane for one of those stoves instead of using gas. So I, I like this a lot. I've had this for a long time. I remember where I bought this to. It was a sportsman's warehouse. I got some more headlamps here, some more flashlights. These are headlamps. In Alaska, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot have enough headlamps. Let me tell you that. Headlamps are a dime a dozen here, and we use them all winter long. Anywhere I go into winter, we always have a headlamp on us or in our vehicle or in our, in our coat's pocket or something. And this was just a cheap little headlamp that I think I paid a buck something for. Not too long ago. So I went ahead and picked it up because it does work. Actually, we bought three of these and Little Miss Alaska Prepper uses one and they work just fine. What I like about these headlamps is, is if you destroy them, no big deal. You're out a couple bucks. Now this here is my backup to my electric knife sharpener. And this thing right here I've had for a very long time. I've used it once and it works very well. It comes with like one, two, three, four, five different stones, and it comes with an angle uh, bracket where you can angle the knife to exactly the angle that you need it to be. And uh, it's a very nice setup, and I will only use this if my electric one fails me or if we don't have electricity. And these are ble bleach tablets, and uh, what you do with these is, is you can put one of these tablets in a gallon of water, and it makes bleach out of each tablet. Very nice, very nice to have. I think I'm actually gonna keep these out. Got a whole bunch of long zip ties here. And like I said on one of my previous videos, you can't have enough zip ties. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know what these are. These are a couple of kind of cheap machetes, but there's a funny story behind this. Years ago, when we still lived in Washington, I remember coming home from work once and these we're waiting at the kitchen table. And I asked my wife, are those machetes? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, why did you get machetes? And she's like, well, that's a great prepping item. <laughs> so she bought two of them. And I remember her saying that she paid $3 and change for these. And I think she said she got them at Harbor Freight. I'm not sure if it was Harbor Freight or Walmart, but these are actually pretty cool. As you can see here, it's got a sharp side but it also has a serrated side that's like a saw. So you can use this side to saw off a branch and this side to chop away. All right, so over here we have some fuel tablets and these guys actually work really well. Got a few boxes of these and I think these are a little more expensive nowadays. I remember paying $2.50 or so for each of these a few years back. Got a jar here that's full of matches. We have a multi-use transfer pump you can use to siphon gas. We have more matches. We have the longer matches. And we have a little box of candles here. More than likely I got these on sale probably after the holidays. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the rest of the stuff that I've got in there. There's more stuff in the box, but there are multiples of these. I just wanted to show you that I have some utility carabiners. I have three of these. Now, this is not something that you want to trust with your body. This is just a utility carabiner that you can use to organize. So I got three of those, and those are nice to have. 
I have a little bit of a epoxy. I have an epoxy kit, and that's really nice to have. It's something that I've never really brought up, is to have something that you can use to mend something temporarily, either to get you home or to get the job done until you have the time to actually get down to fixing it permanently. Here's one of the flashlights that I did a review on very, very long time ago. I think this is like one of the first giveaways I did was one of these flashlights. And I have two of these, and it's actually a very good flashlight. I have the, uh, I have the brother of this flashlight sitting on my little side table over there, and I always have it there with a good battery. This little emergency radio, ladies and gentlemen, is really cool. It's got a little solar panel up here that you can use to power it. It takes batteries. I think it takes like six AA batteries. And it also has a little crank here. Now, I haven't used this radio in a long time. My wife got this radio when we used to live in Washington. And at that time, I think she paid like $34 for it, which at that time I think was a little expensive. It's just when I started prepping, I was like, man, $34 bucks for a radio. But it's really cool. It doesn't have any batteries in it. And as you can see here, this is how you turn on the flashlight. So let's go ahead and see if cranking it still works when it turns on the flashlight. And there you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's a red. Let me see. On a regular flashlight. Yep. Yeah. So it still works. Pretty cool that it still works after all this time. Then again, it's just been sitting in a box. But it's nice to have one of these just to make sure that you know you're going to be able to get some news in case... You know the power goes out or anything like that all right we're getting down to the last few things these are some fire starters that have a striking surface here so it's like a big match that turns into a fire starter <laughs> so let's check it out I've actually used these before I used to have a couple of boxes and they actually do work so you see that it's like a big old match which I think this is kind of an overkill for fire starting. I would rather just take a little bit off to start my fire and save the rest. But it does work and it's even got a striking surface here. I have a few of these magnesium bars with the small ferrocium rod in the end. And it's got a striker in the back. Now these are just your little cheapos that used to be like a buck and change. Now I think they're $5 and change. But these actually do work. You know, all you got to do is scrape these off. I think that the scraper it comes with is a little cheap. But if you have a good knife, you can use the spine of the knife to scrape this off and to strike the ferrocium rod. So this is pretty nice to have also. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an awesome little tool. So what this is used for is you take a 20-pound propane cylinder, right? The 20-pound ones, like the ones you use in your grills. This is an attachment that will attach to that propane tank, and you can use this to fill one of the small one-pound cylinder tanks off of a 20-pound. So I recommend that everyone get one of these. And I saved some of my lighters for last because these are really old lighters. I bought them on sale. <laughs> I had like 20 or 30 coupons, I think it was, for 99 cents off a big lighter. And these were like a dollar and five cents. So I ended up paying like six cents for each of these lighters. But I've never taken them out of their package. And these, I would say, are about seven or eight years old. So I'm going to go ahead and take one out right now. And see if it works after all that time. Because I've been told by a few people that after so long, the gas in this or the butane in this goes away. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shake it and see if I can hear any butane in it. Oh, and I definitely hear butane in it. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say? It's a Bic. Seven plus years old. Or I would say eight plus years old. Nothing wrong with it. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun uh, taking a look, or a little bit of entertainment at least, taking a look at all the stuff that I forgot about for the last four and a half or so years. All right, I hope you guys have a good day. And... To those of you that were on the live stream on Sunday, uh, I just want to tell you thank you so much for joining in. I had a blast. I think that was the most fun live stream that we've had since I started doing live streams. And of course, a lot of the credit goes to 
Victor. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, allowing me to have such a good time on that last live stream. All right. Having said that, I hope you guys have a good day. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Check this out. This is what these lazy animals do, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Just being lazy all day long. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Pebbles! <laughs> Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. And Pebbles, I'm out.